Hello. Why am I taking these off? Okay, I'm currently driving, so I'm very distracted. Um, I mean, I'm distracted by the driving. I'm not distracted driving. I would literally never do that. <laughs> never. Anyways, so today, me and my friend Nicole are headed to the Toronto Words on the Street Fair. There are several panels and also several book selling opportunities. So I think that's kind of what I'm most interested in is purchasing books. Last year we saw it on TikTok and we're like, that looks so cute, so fun, we should do it next year. So here we are doing it next year. However, the timing is very inopportune because I'm supposed to be moving um, in less than a week. And am I packed? Partially, yeah, partially I am. Um, but I also haven't signed the lease yet and that is terrifying me to my core and I'm having stress dreams about it. So. Um, hoping we can get that sorted. <laughs> also, I am sick, uh, as demonstrated by my old man cough. Sorry, you're seeing the inside of my wheel. Um, yeah, so timing is an opportunity for a multitude of reasons. I am not feeling great. I have to move. Um, but otherwise, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a hoot and a half. because you can see the moving boxes that I've taken over the house and my room is not a filming location at the moment. Um, I'm gonna do my little haul here for you in the living room. Um, and if you hear my dog paw at the door, can you let me know? Thank you. I think I showed most of the books that I purchased, but I thought I'd go over them again and share what place I got them from. So I got Black Swans by Eve Babbitts. I've been wanting to read an Eve Babbitts for forever and i just can't find them in like our stores or our library or anything so i found this one and this was from queen's books um 914 queen street east so this one i think was probably one of my favorite stores that was there they had a really good collection of books they had a lot of it girly books obviously eve babbitts is kind of in that but i really want to go to the store now like it was they had a really great selection and i would have loved to have seen more of the books that they had it was super busy at the places that had like popular books like it was kind of hard to see all the books but this place was really cool um and they gave me two bookmarks which i love and i love their bookmark little design so that was this one i'm really excited to read this i think i'm gonna do it on like this feels like a vacation book like being that girly on the beach reading eve babbitts kind of love that I purchased Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. I have been waiting in the library for this and I figured I might as well just purchase it even though I am next on hold. I'm like, I might as well just put my money where my mouth is. Um, I'm trying to make sure that it, I'm more diverse in what I purchase rather than like just reading all from the library. It helps, you know, more diverse books be published if you actually purchase them rather than get them from the library. So I'm trying to change my purchasing habits in that way. But um, I'm very excited to read this. It sounds super interesting. I'm, from what I understand, R.F. Kuang has always published fantasy and I read Babel, but this is about like an, Arth an Ar Arthur, an author who takes credit for someone else's work and then also kind of insinuates that they are like a person of color, an Asian person of color specifically. So I purchased this book from another story bookshop and they are on Ronces Vale, and I really liked their books. They had like a huge focus on um, equity and diversity um, and LGBTQ representation. So I really uh, enjoyed their selection. I am just upset that I did not pick up a signed copy, but that is fine. And then the last book I purchased was Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. And I got this one from 
happily ever after books and this is like a exclusively romance book place a bookstore in toronto um on it doesn't say maybe they're just online i don't know but i kind of want to like if they have a physical store i want to go uh because it was so cute and everyone who was working there was super nice and it was like their selection was really good and the amount of books that they had per book and the way they organized things was really good. I thought their booth was my favorite and they had like a little design out front which I will put a little clip of um, but I wanted to purchase this because I have the other book in this cover and I wanted them to match. It is a smaller size, it's a trade back copy but like that's fine with me. Every Summer After really liked this book and I'm glad I have it physically now and this is like perfect to just like put in your beach bag which I love um and I'm really excited to read Meet Me at the Lake and I'm also so happy that I have this matching cover because the other cover is ugly to me and you can't find this one in Canada so so happy so those are all the books I purchased um I wasn't like super impressed with the book selection like I was kind of ready to buy more but um, I don't often buy books full price, so it was a little it was a little difficult for me to make the jump. But as I said, I would say like Queen Books and um, Happily Ever After were my two favorite stalls. Um, and then BMV had a good selection as well, but it was just like nothing that really jumped out at me. Um, a lot of it was like smaller publishers and like uh, authors selling their own work, which was really cool. Um, but it was getting quite hot, so we did leave. Um, but I also purchased some bookmarks. So let me show you those. This is from Book Bubbled Shop. And she had, let me see, I've got the little card here. Book Bubbled Shop. Um, she was very sweet. They were very sweet and um, had some great bookmarks about like different series. But I picked the Six of Crows, the No Mourners, No Funerals. This was um, me and Nicole agreed. This was the cutest one. Um, so happy because it doesn't have like a quote. I don't really resonate with quotes from books because I can't remember them. But obviously I remember No Mourners, No Funerals. And now I feel like I'm entitled to reread Six of Crows with my new bookmark. Or I could just use it for King of Scars, which I have purchased. <laughs> Um, and then I also got this little, um, this one looks like a library card, which I love. Um, so this one was really cute. And then me and Nicole both got two. So that was what I picked up at the book fair. It was very fun. It kind of had like the Scholastic book fair vibes with the amount of books. And it was really busy. It was perfect weather. It was like when we got there, probably around like 21, 22, and it was warmed up. There was no wind. So it was getting quite steamy. And I imagine throughout the day, it was just gonna get warmer and warmer. I don't know if I would go again next year unless I like really wanna make another video about it or looking for a certain type of books. Like I think maybe I've just found some bookstores that I wanna go to, which is awesome. Um, so that's cool. Cause I don't really know many bookstores in Toronto. Like. We bought all our books when I was at school at the bookstore, like on campus. So I'm not super aware. So I'm glad that I now have some bookstores that I would like to go to. And I'm glad that I've got some new books to read this summer. The only thing that sucks is now I just have to go pack these because um, I've already packed up all my books. So got to pack these bad boys um, and then they will go in the new bookshelf which is very exciting because tomorrow I will be purchasing a new bookshelf at Ikea and I will have enough room for all my books and more so exciting um so i hope this video turns out this is my several attempt at a vlog so hopefully it, it comes together in editing um i have no idea when this is going to come out because i am so busy and not doing well <laughs> physically or mentally uh with the stress so um yeah thank you so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day bye